Hi, we're live, super excited. So today, if you guys don't already know, I'm going to be bringing on my friend Sanjana, who is gonna share with us you know, how she has actually used self-trust in her life and is implementing it now. And here she is. All right, let's see if it worked. Instagram's doing its thing. Yay, hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yay, amazing. All righty. So thank you so much for coming on. I'm so excited to share your story. And I've sort of seen you like really blossoming over the last few months. So I'm really, really excited for you to share what's been going on. But before we get into the juicy details, let everybody know who you are. What's your name? Where are you from? What do you do? Who are you? Let us all know. Yeah, so I, my name is Sanjana, as you all know, and I'm originally from Bangalore, but now I'm currently living in Toronto. And I am a mindset coach. I help women gain clarity in their life, basically what their passions are, what their purpose is, and help them set goals so that they can navigate and take steps and, you know, actually fulfill their purpose. Yes, and clarity is so, so, so important. So I love that that's something that you talk about, and it's something that... I get a lot of questions about, so I'm excited to introduce you to my audience here. If anybody's looking for clarity, Sanjana is your girl. So let's jump into it. I'm so excited that you're here. Share with us, you know, before we had our session about a month or two ago, I think it was, before we had that session, sort of like, where were you at? Because I know you were starting this business, but where was your mindset at? Yeah, so initially when I got this idea on, you know, starting this business, I wrote down like, okay, step one, step two, step three, what? And then when I actually started taking actions on it, there was all these, uh, you know, thoughts as to, because this is like, you're putting yourself out there to... It just got, am I audible now? Yep, we can hear you now. It cut out for a little bit, but it's fine. We can hear you. Yeah. yeah, so like I was putting myself out there for judgment and, you know, to, and a lot of people who know me are there on my Instagram. I didn't want to, because I've done that in the past of escaping from my personal account, creating a new account. And then when people found me there, I again, like went into that cocoon. So I didn't want to do that again. And I wanted to uh, like post about my business on this account itself. And that was really uh, intimidating to know that there are people watching and they are there to judge whether you fail or you don't fail and all of those things. So all, all these thoughts came into like my head when I was going to take action. I was kind of self-sabotaging myself. You know, when it actually came to posting certain video, there are so many videos that I filmed and not like published it. It's even there sitting in my YouTube, but I don't click that publish uh, button. I've made it private. So uh, wow. yeah, I was, I was in that stage. And when I got a call from you, you know, you spoke about like uh, self-trust and uh, imposter syndrome. So that import imposter syndrome is something that caught my eye because I've, I felt like I've always trusted myself and I didn't connect imposter syndrome to self-trust. And I feel mm -hmm. that's where I was, you know, I didn't know like what, uh, what to repair in me, like uh, per se. So when I saw that imposter syndrome, I was like, great, it would be, you know, nice catching up with someone who can guide me through this and all that and then during our session uh, you remember we did um, an analysis like best case scenario and worst case yes. scenario. yeah so when i was talking with you uh, something that came up was i had not really thought about this but something that came up was about the job that i was working in in the past so i had quit that job moved to another country and you know tried i i've given myself two years to like try something new and see what works out and what doesn't my yeah. main fear was that if I fail, like what's going to happen? Right. It's out in the open that I, I went to try something and that didn't work out. And in order to avoid that situation, I was like, you know, self-sabotaging and using, uh, using that as a guard, like not to take action. But then I realized that, well, if I don't take action, I'm failing anyways. Like if I don't try yeah. I'm failing anyways. So That's the joke, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, when we did that uh, best case and worst case scenario analysis, we were like, best case, what's going to happen? Okay, I'm going to launch 
this business and it's going to be super awesome I'll, be, I'll get to help a lot of amazing women on all that and then worst case scenario what was going to happen is that i try things don't work out as i expected it to be probably i try again and then it doesn't work out again i just go back and look for another job so that is the worst case scenario in which which is not bad at all if you look at it from like okay. you know perspective so yeah that really helped me and uh, also the implementation workbook that i used so yeah. when i was yeah when i under here i was like fine okay great you know i can take action and all that but then when i saw that implementation workbook there was another step that i had to do so whenever i had this fear of like telling myself as that statement that hey look if it doesn't work out i can go back and i can you know i can get a job i have that much confidence on myself that i can do that so why not just give it a try yes oh my gosh i love everything that you said and for mm-hmm. those of you listening this is similar to like yola's story 2 days ago where she took the tools that i have which are very specific tools it's like a very specific workbook it's a very specific conversation of an analysis my tools are very specific and sanjana as well as yola they put in the work and that's where they got the results it wasn't just the one you know 30 to 40 minute call that we had it's they used all of the workbooks all of the things that i'm putting out all the exercises and the emails or whatever and are actually putting in the work and by the way that is a huge act of self trust so you doing that Sanjana is you trusting yourself and you believing in yourself enough to actually put in the work be vulnerable to and and open to these new things and actually do them so that's amazing and and also for you guys listening the worst case scenario analysis is a really fantastic conversation that if you work with me we will do that that exercise and it basically the point of it is to show you just how freaking powerful you already are and how the worst case scenario is not even like a big deal. <laughs> so, that's a fun exercise. So I'm really glad that that was a big insight for you. What was a uh, what was like were there any other like aha moments that you had as you started to implement the work? Like w- there was the one where we had the conversation, you had an insight there, but then you started doing the work. Were there any insights when you were like doing the workbooks and putting it in and and putting yourself out in your business? Yeah, I think it was more when I put myself out and uh I started my podcast and then like I started becoming more consistent on Instagram, you know, like showing my face. I also challenged myself to like put daily videos on YouTube so that I get used to cam- on camera. And awesome. when I was doing that, you know, to my surprise, a lot of people who who I was like terrified about how they might judge me, that is people who i know in my personal life yes. not unknown unknown person so the way when they reached out to me they were like oh hey i listened to that podcast episode it was so nice like can you talk about this you know the way i got like uh, the responses that i got was so supportive and i just felt like oh my god i'd mistaken how people think about uh, me and how they might judge and all of that yeah. but as of now they're all super supportive and uh, yeah it's been really great and that was really really surprising for me because i'd never really actively put myself out for judgment you know in yeah. on a public platform so when whether it's like those dms that they send or you know when i'm casually talking to a friend of mine and suddenly like i don't even bring up this topic and suddenly they bring up this topic and say hey i really like that episode i really like that video or when i don't put out a video they're like hey why didn't you put out a video so it will like <laughs> follow awesome. up with that yeah that was really nice yeah that's so awesome i love that you said that because i think a lot of people in our audience collectively like you're the girls that follow you the people that follow me mm-hmm. i think a lot of them um you know do want to put themselves out there or start yeah. businesses you know when women start businesses they attract other women that want to start businesses and a big fear that people have it's part it's like a flavor of imposter syndrome but mm-hmm. it's that fear of judgment by people that you know And here's the thing, when you put yourself out there, the people that follow you first are like your family and friends. <laughs> you know, it's the people around you. And so when you put yourself out there, those are the first the first people that see what you're doing. And typically we have this fear that people are going to make fun of us, people are going to laugh at us. And I had the exact opposite experience like you where i had the same experience as you where people were like oh my god your page is so cool like what like i love that you did this or you know they're like watching my lives you know my 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 mom's friends are like this is amazing i'm sending this to my daughter right now and like i would never have have expected that um so anyways i just want to say for anybody who's wanting to start a business if you have this fear 
look at us. It's the opposite thing that will happen. <laughs> People will support you. It's the most beautiful thing. So yay, I love that that was your experience. And tell us about what does it look like now? I know that you just launched something, which is super exciting. Like, what are you up to now? And, and how does self-trust, um, you know, play into what you're doing now? Yeah, I think uh, the way the, the perspective about me should change, like uh, the perspective, basically. So rather than looking at it as, oh, my God, if I put out something, will people like it? Or if it, what if it doesn't help them? Or will it be as useful as I think it would be? Uh, rather than thinking about all these things and inducing fear and stopping myself, I kind of realized that, hey, like, let me put it out. You know, I'm not holding a gun on anyone's head and asking them to use this or like watch my videos or something. It is up to their wish and will whether they want to watch it or not. And if they yeah. find it, well, they'll definitely come back. So yep. just giving myself and giving myself a view that if I'm not putting this out, then probably I'm robbing something off people. I'm not even giving them this information that, you know, I have and they can use, which might be helpful for them. Yeah, that's yeah. what. Well, yeah, I shouldn't be like, you know, uh, uh, be that selfish that, you know, because of this fear of judgment that I don't even give myself and others the opportunity to know all these things. Yeah. Ah, amazing. And you even sharing right now is a huge service to other women who are watching this or people who are watching this that are wanting to do the same thing and have the same fear. We have a comment right here too. recently started group and yes, feel the same. Yeah, we got you. The wand embers tarot yes <laughs> we definitely we relate girl or, or man whoever you are <laughs> we definitely relate and you know you're definitely welcome in this space and so you yeah you can add what you see here me and Sanjana putting ourselves out there sharing is totally possible for you too so thanks for coming on and watching um yay I'm so proud of you and I've seen you yeah. launching so many amazing things tell us about what you just launched so that uh, we all know what you're up to yeah, I just launched a free library. Basically, you would get, you know, guided meditations and some workbooks, which will help you gain clarity, overcome resistance. And I'm also in like collaboration with another Reiki instructor. So she's helping me create, you know, all these amazing resources, which would help people like overcome their limiting beliefs and just go from that phase of thinking to actually taking action so that they can see some progress. Yes, amazing. So if you guys want access to even more amazing resources, definitely go check out Sanjana's page because I'm already in her library and it's looking awesome. So you guys need to go check it out. And that's actually how, how this opportunity came up. I was like, well, girl, you're launching stuff. Like I'm seeing you all over my Instagram now. What's going on? Is this because of some of the work that we did together? And she said, yes. And I was like, come on and share your story because I want everybody to know like how this is working in your life and how you're implementing this work and how like tangible it is to implement. You know what I mean too? It's very specific. I'm not going to give you like random stuff that you can't actually use. It's like real tools that you can use. So yay. I'm so freaking proud. Is there anything else that you would want to share with like your audience, um, you know, about what you're up to and like, or like any tips on self-trust and how you implement them for your audience? Yeah. I think the first step is like what I teach is about gaining clarity in what you want to do and you know what steps you want to take what actions you want to take and then the very next thing that comes into picture is self trust like if you don't believe in yourself if you don't trust in yourself no matter like what strategies you have what tools you have it's it's like it's not possible or it definitely limits you know the kind of results that you get and self-trust is also like a constant process. It's not about, yeah. uh, you know, oh, once you get self-trust, like you have trust on yourself and then everything goes on autopilot. It's not that you need to keep doing like consistent. It's something like workout. You know, you need to keep constantly mm -hmm. working out to stay healthy and self-trust is the same thing. And one more thing that I found really useful in my journey was to kind of, you know, go look back in my life, in my past life to see when uh, what were the situations wherein I was scared or I was you know I had this fear of judgment and I took the action and it turned out well so to yeah. find evidences and to you know give myself the proof that hey look you have done this in the past and you can do it again yes that's such a good one and, so, and one that people don't 
don't yeah. really like think about. We're always sort of like, what are your goals and make a vision board. And it's like, make a vision board of all your accomplishments. Like look back in yeah. your life and like write down all of like the things that you did and all the projects you completed and any like if you want anything any scholarships or awards or what like just put it all on one board so you can see how freaking awesome you are and every single person watching this has enough stuff enough accomplishments to fill an entire wall I guarantee it so definitely I love that you shared that because that's a really really good one yay thank you so much what an awesome conversation I really loved seeing you like blossom and like share yourself and share your and share your resources because I know they're going to be super useful clarity is extremely extremely important so I love knowing you and knowing an expert in the space of clarity so that's amazing where can we find you where can where can people come and connect with you yeah my handle is bitojam that is b-i-t-o-j-a-m and then you can like dm me I respond to all the DMs and link in my bio through which you can opt in for, you know, the free resource library that I just launched. Woohoo! And if you're watching this in the replay later, you are going to find Sanjana's handle um, tagged in there so you can go say hello and send her DM. We're always DMing our community. We love you guys so much. So go and connect with her and see what she's been up to, which has been really awesome things. And she has a podcast and a YouTube channel, right? as well. Sanjana, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Okay, we're back. So you also have a podcast and a YouTube channel, right? Amazing. Yes, yeah. My podcast is called One Day at a Time and platforms that, uh, you know, the podcasts are available and then my youtube channel is just Sanjana Raj Woo! amazing okay so you guys can go check out Sanjana's handle in the link below if you're watching the replay you can go find her get into her resource library it's awesome and then go check out her podcast and her youtube and with that thank you so much Sanjana for coming on I hope you can still hear me I hope I'm not like blocked out <laughs> and cutting out um, with the internet but thank you so much for coming on and we will see everybody later bye <laughs> yes i, I can <laughs>